eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open eyes, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open eyes. Lord, open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high Coming to you live from Altamont Springs, Florida. This is Young Casper representing RFN Radio, The Young Casper Show. I hope everyone has been having a great week. So far, I know only Monday, and I understand that we all have a a lot of different tasks at hand, either with work or school or anything in particular that is our drive for the week. So uh, before I get into the inward journey, we have actually a lot to cover today. I wanted to also get into the book of John, so it's definitely going to be a fulfilled episode. It's not going to be too, too long. I definitely want to go ahead and thank everyone that has tuned in. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my episodes and, you know, all my faithful um, live listeners. Thank you as well. But everyone else that presses play, I mean, I do not, you know, pick one or the other. You know, I, I respect and appreciate everyone that takes the time because I know in in this time of error we all get so busy we all have to stay busy it's not that it's it's a bad thing to be busy but we all tend to kind of drift away from the things that are a necessity to being a better human being because we're all we all try to gather so much information in the times where we were born, of course, but you know, it, during the teenage years and the twenties and even the early thirties, there's so much still to be gained, not just in knowledge, but in wisdom. So I understand that you're busy and you're living your life and you know, that's what it's all about though. At least acknowledging and appreciating what is taking place. You know, whether if it's coming towards you or if it's coming out of you, you know, it it doesn't matter. You know, you still appreciate and I appreciate. So hopefully you do the same thing as well. But like I do in the majority of my episodes in the beginning, I kind of just vent, kind of just go over what I'm going to be covering today. I want to definitely acknowledge God which we should do that at all times. But I understand, like I've been stating, that there is things that will get in the way. And sometimes it's our own conscience. Sometimes it's our own mind. Sometimes it's it's a little bit of everything. And, you know, just kind of recapping my whole week and just in general, you know, I definitely see, I see the change in me. And I also see that... It's not easy. You know, we all backslide. We all make mistakes. But as long as that we, as long as we can focus on who's perfect, focus on who is sinless, and that is Jesus Christ, we can have the opportunity to become more like Christ. And I know that it's, it's a very, very difficult road to, to get on by yourself. That's why it is definitely a necessity for any new believer to get in with the right community, to get in with the right, with the right church, with the right people. You need to have the right people. Just like I've stated probably in a good number of podcasts that it's just like 
a boxer in a ring and there's another boxer in the ring you're going up against well that's the that's that's the world you know is the, is the other per, other person in that corner so we have to have the right people in our corner for when the world knocks us down and it will we have to have the right people in our corner you know not just god just not just the holy spirit not just jesus you know sometimes that's that's not enough. And I know that sounds a little weird, but it's so true because you need to have the, the people that believe in God as well and believe in your movement and believe in your the, – the areas you're trying to change in your life and the direction you want to take your life because not everybody, even people that are close to you, they're not going to necessarily – you know, they'll, they'll approve of it, but they won't respect it because they're on their own – spiritual drift or spiritual journey that is maybe lingering or they have doubts, they have questions, they have fears, then they, you know, that's, that's what comes with the relationship with Jesus. And I understand that a lot of people talk about religion. Well, it's not about religion. It's about having a relationship with God, and through God we have a relationship with Jesus, and through the relationship with Jesus we get the Holy Spirit. Amen to that. But the one thing that just it kind of just bothers me is that, oh, what religion are you when people ask you? You know, when they get into, that's because they've been programmed that way, because they're either Roman Catholic, or they're Baptist, or this and that, but what people tend to fail at what they're doing is they're completely saying the wrong things you know they say nothing about oh how's your relationship with jesus when's the last time you talked to him nobody asked that i've never heard anybody in my life ask me that question ever ever in my whole entire life and especially in my christian world even people that have been close to me or people that have drifted away da 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 da, da. i've never heard anyone say how's your relationship with jesus is it going good you know what are you doing that's involved with the church or what are you doing with the you don't hear questions like that because people it comes to people that it's they they just it's a scary subject it's a scary touchy oh if i ask them about what they're doing with god i might you know you know might be nailed to the cross myself. Like, it's like, wow. I mean, a lot of us just need to lighten up, lighten up and understand that we are human. We're going to be competitive. We're going to be, you know, we're going to have doubts. We're going to have fears. We're going to have different things. But as long as we can stay connected to the higher power, doesn't mean it's always going to be easy, but it will make it understandable. You know, because at the end of the day, we all have to face God at some point. We all will. And, you know, as I even sit here right now, it's it's just, it's eye-opening. It's eye-opening to know that there will be one day that this world is gone. There will be one day that the people that are around you that that you care about most will be gone. And however order it happens, it happens. And as I take a sip of this sweet tea, I'm just enjoying life. I'm thank I'm thankful that God has given me that ability. Amen. Because even I don't have I don't have necessarily the things that someone would that would be loving life. I don't have a I don't have a girlfriend, you know, which I long I long for. And I don't have a car. I don't have a license. I don't even have a job. And my parents, yes, are struggling very, very deeply financially, and they're looking for me to give the helping hand. I haven't had a job in about I'd say about a good two months. Maybe even a little over. And um, it's kind of depressing a little bit, but I'm optimistic, probably more a little optimistic than they are, 
But at the end of the day, and I've said that, and I will continue to say that because there's always a beginning and there's always an end. I know that my works here on earth that I have done, that I'm I'm talking about previous of what I've done with jobs and certain things don't really mean nothing. They don't really mean nothing if I didn't and use the money towards my dreams and what I really want to do in my life. Because if I continue to, if let's just say, you know, I get a job and I get right back into drinking or get right back into smoking and it, and it could happen. And it, this is a reminder, not to myself, but just a reminder to everyone that don't think that just because you are a believer that you cannot be deceived and getting right back in the same traps because it happens, happens to all of us. I don't care who you are. I don't care what kind of family you came from. I don't care what kind of financial status you have right now. You could be at the very top and tomorrow you could be at the very bottom. Stay humble. And that's one thing that I'm going to continue to install and install in my future kids and down the line for people to understand that when you get, you know, just like I just said, like, and I just seen that, you know, internet connection, hopefully I got this in there. I just felt like my whole life, nobody has really listened to what I had to say. I've had dreams to where I've been sleeping and been talking and, and, that's okay. They're just dreams, but it's just the, the principle of what I'm trying to get to where I'm talking about very, very positive things and very powerful things. And nobody's really listening. They're overlapping me. They're talking. It's just consistently, you know, and I've seen that in my whole life and it has definitely been a struggle. And, you know, it just comes to a point to where I feel like I just need to be in the center of attention, so to speak, you know, it really, it really, it, it kind of sounds that way. So I'm going to put it in that, in that form, but I really need to be on a, on a stage to where I have the, I have the floor. Nobody else has the opportunity to have the floor unless they just they're talking to someone else or they're just not hearing the message because I will get my message across regardless because my message has nothing to do with me or my the message is clear you know it's the reason why i started doing this radio show i did not accept the offer that mike gave me just to fly by in this no now where there are times where i completely completely made a fool of myself because i was not really living the life of a christian yeah But you know what? There's so many Christians like that. And I know plenty of Christians like that, that pretend, not necessarily pretend, but make it seem like they're Christians and they believe and this and that. But their lifestyle, their life doesn't show it. Now, I'm not judging, but I'm just stating the facts. You know, and I've, the one conviction that I feel a lot is when I'm not living the way that I'm supposed to. I feel it. I don't know about any other Christian. I can't speak for them. I can't speak for nobody but myself. But when I'm not living right, I feel it. And I talk to God and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What am I doing? What am I doing? Show me the way out. Show me where I need to go because this obviously is, if it's making me feel this way, I shouldn't be doing it. And we all need to take that into consideration. And... That's what we're getting into today. Like I said, I appreciate anyone that's listening to me live. If Frank, if Mike, anyone that's tuned in, you know, from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, thank you so much. Go ahead and share this if you can. I understand that uh, I get a lot of my listens later on. And thank you for anyone on RFN following them on the uh, speaker. Definitely appreciate it. Definitely trying to stay focused on being just concentrated on the network and whole.